Monday, October 12th, 1931. Hello everyone, welcome back to the future. Welcome to back to back to the future. So, um, we have rescued Doc from the totalitarian regime. Um, he's fixed the DeLorean. And we are now back in Hill Valley trying to work out, uh, we're trying to break up the relationship between past Emmett and past Edna. So the future never, well, the totalitarian future never happens. There's Edna. Spell it! B-R-O-W-N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love... Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. <laughs> Mr. Callahan, you do pop up at the oddest times. <laughs> what are you doing here? Breaking up the uh, preventing a terrible future. Thwarting your crazy schemes. Whatever it is, I hope <laughs> you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Bitch. Uh, have you seen Emmett? No. Uh, no. Oh, then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, oh, shut I thought up. I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, those gut instincts are important. If you disliked him right off the bat. Oh, but I didn't know him then. Now I know him inside and out. Ew. Yeah, but I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Callahan, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a alone. simple mix-up, I'm sure. <laughs> I've no doubt of that. If she wasn't such a bitch, she'd be kind of hot in that video game kind of way. Okay, right, I'm not having any luck here. Maybe Doc's got some ideas. Well, I talked to her. And? Nothing. She says she knows what she's looking for, and it's you. But it can't be me. It wasn't me. Marty, we don't belong together. You don't have to tell me that. Find out exactly what her requirements are. I can almost guarantee <clears throat> you that I don't fit them. Okay, back to talk. Can I talk to him? Can I talk to Arthur, Artie instead? Hey, Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Oh, yeah, he thinks Will we, you please he thinks keep we're an your undercover mind on the agent. task at hand. Can't talk right now. Ahem. <clears throat> you said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be, exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Callahan. You know that? Well, his physical appearance, for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. <laughs> Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through so, and yeah, through. Just using his, him for his own mind. mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. 
And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. <laughs> well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Mm -mm. Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Okay. That's I all the questions I, I got. Very well, then. Hello. Hey, Artie. You seen my Orioli? You mean this? <laughs> yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. That's I love it. That's because you're a bitch, and she's not. Okay, let's have a look at these boxes. I get the feeling these aren't just here for no reason. It's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez. I hope I, 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 hope I still honest, have a truck back in 86. I actually quite like that old car style over Marty's uh, future one. Alright, let's talk to Trixie. See what she's got to say. <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Oh. To all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. <laughs> that was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. How true. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? Ah. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have <laughs> slept through that class. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So, you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests, and on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. I really like her hat. <laughs> uh, help me make Edna Listen, jealous. I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Audie now. It's not like that. See, <laughs> my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. <laughs> I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Then you see where I'm coming from. He won't listen to reason, but... I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? <laughs> Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah. Oh. Edna might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. <laughs> Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni Muse of Progress. Okay, so I've got to convince her to to help Whose her out. Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Beats me. Audie says it's all bread and circuses, but I ain't seen a single clown yet today. <laughs> okay. See you, Trixie. From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. All right. So. Ahem. Does that give me Back any again, new Mr. Callahan? Options? What can I help you with? Well, I was thinking. I found out about Trixie Trotter. Yes? Apparently they made her some sort of queen of the festival. Techni, the muse of progress. They didn't. Well, they said this expo would give Hill Valley a reputation. I didn't realize this is what they meant. Oh, what geez, have you got against such Trixie? A bitch. It's the idea of it. Allowing our city to be represented by a woman like that. I won't stand for it. As a socially conscious citizen, I demand you discharge that muse. Trixie? What's wrong with her? 
Oh, she's hardly qualified for an honorific post at a public event. Look, lady, she fits the costume, she's an American citizen, and she managed to memorize all her lines. <laughs> what more qualifications do you want? <laughs> oh, these people are impossible. No, you're impossible. Why do you want to get Trixie fired? One simply can't allow women like that to attain positions of respect in society. It creates a very bad precedent for the future. Does it? You're about to try telling it to this poor Who was that? There was a guy She's in the background got him there. completely steamrolled. That's how they operate. Is it? Yeah, there's Still, a guy against the truck. I could I'll get her discharged second, if then. I had the goods on her. No doubt a woman like that has left a trail of scandal, and I'd find it if I were still a reporter. But I haven't got time to do the legwork now. I'm too busy with Emmett and our... his invention. Uh, okay. That's all the questions I got. Very I'm, I'm well, going then. on a roll here. I'm just going by... How about you? Have you got any questions for me? Uh, no. Then kindly let me pass. I am afraid I can't. Until I've located your registration form. <laughs> oh, this is absurd! So yeah, I'm just going on, like, whims here and seeing what I can come up with. Isn't it's not as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez, I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Has he left his headlights on? It looked like it. He's going to wear down the battery if he's not careful. Cue ball! He's one of kids' people, I think. Hey, pal! Oh, jeez, this guy again. Funny, what? I was going to say the same thing. Why are, her te why are his teeth green? <laughs> Shouldn't you be in jail with the rest of kids, gang? I was, but then an opportunity availed itself and I... Sang like a canary. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as exhibiting an admirable sense of self-preservation. Seriously, what the hell happened to your teeth? Will you be playing piano for Trixie later? Nah. Why not? Because little Miss Goody Two-Shoes thinks she's too respectable for cue ball these days. You seem kind of angry about Trixie. Angry? Listen, kid, me and Trixie go way back. I know stuff about her that even kid doesn't know. Stuff that curl your socks. Really? Oh, yeah. And now to see her flouncing around the place, making like her stink don't smell, it just... Well, it just cheeses me off, you know? <laughs> so what's so, uh, toe curling about Trixie's past? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you. Oh, come on. No. Tell you what, I'll tell you something embarrassing about me first. Like what? I hijacked to check. My mom here. Well, under me. the influence <laughs> of alcohol, my mom made a pass at me. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Junior, you win. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Almost as embarrassing as this. Hello. Is that <laughs> Trixie? Yep. She's not wearing much. <laughs> no kidding. She did a lot of these artistic postcards a few years ago. I got a whole set of them. Can I, um, have one? I don't know. You ain't gonna do nothing bad with it, are you? Hey, I promise. I'll only use it for the greater good. <laughs> well, okay. Seriously, I want to know what happened to his teeth. What's with your teeth? <laughs> hey, what's with your teeth? <laughs> My teeth? Yeah, they're green. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Seriously, dude, your teeth. Seriously, man, what's going on with your teeth? It's nothing. Nothing! <laughs> I, I... Oh, crap. What's wrong? It's these. Dr. Frinkle's algae cakes? A crate of them fell off the truck while I was unloading it, and uh, I just can't stop eating them. <laughs> I was, I don't know, they turned my teeth green. Well, the algae part might have been a clue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please don't wrap me out the audio, okay? I really need this job. No problem, but you better let me keep the cakes. Sure thing, pal. Okay, well, we've got some... Hang loose, pal. ...stuff here. Don't talk funny, mister. <laughs> so, I'm guessing we need to show the picture to Edna, and something is gonna go badly wrong, probably, but let's see where this takes us. You might want to take a look at this. Why in the world would I be interested in... Oh, 
What have we here? Oh, sir! Mr. McFly! <laughs> it appears your muse has been inspiring more than progress. Trixie? Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing with a dirty postcard? <laughs> what is she doing in a dirty postcard? I swear, Mr. McFly, if that doesn't convince you that Trixie Trotter is unfit to represent Hill I Valley... I don't need you to lecture me about who I can or can't hire, Miss Strickland. Trixie's darn good at what she does. I don't care if she was once the winsome wench of Winnipeg. <laughs> Her past doesn't matter to... Trixie? What is it, Audie? You know I don't like to pry, but what state did you grow up in? Province, Manitoba. Why? Not even an American. See, darling, the charter specifically states that the Expo's hostess must be a U.S. citizen, so if you're really a Canadian... I'm being fired? You are firing me? Firing her for I being Canadian. I don't want to. How dare he? Yeah. Take it back. Well, I'm glad somebody's listening to reason. I really want something bad to happen to her. Not her, to, to Edna. Let's talk. <laughs> Alrighty. Trixie? I'll do it. I'll make that blue-nosed bitty eat her heart out. <laughs> Great. I got it all planned out. When Emmett shows but up... we got to do it my way. Huh? I'm no good with improvising, and I ain't going to memorize no lines. But I was in this play once. The Paula Maid's Predicament. I figure I could lift a scene from that. Okay. <laughs> Only, I need a few props. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Some furs, a big diamond. It doesn't have to be real, understand? That makes it easier. <laughs> and something from this friend of yours, Emmett. Has he got a photo album? I don't know. Uh, probably. Better bring it to me. Furs, a diamond, and Emmett's photo album. And then? Sit back and watch the fur fly. Okay, got Hi, tricks. No, I don't oh, want to. Oh, hiya, kiddo. Say, wouldn't it be easiest if I just march up to that Strickland dame and give her a smack in the puss? Yes. Well, it would be fun to watch, but <laughs> I wouldn't get her to break up with my friend Emmett. Oh, right. You got all the props I asked for? The furs and the diamond? No, I was only talking to you a second album? ago. Not all of them yet, but I'm working on it. Good. I'm itching to give Miss High and Mighty an eyeful. Okay, so I've got to get to Emmett's lab. Um... We should probably talk to Doc again. But I shall do that in the next episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.